One of the hardest things to do as an Amazon seller is keep up with all the changes. So there's always a hack or a trick to try and make your sales go up on your listings at the expense of your competitors. Hi, my name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. In this video, I'm going to be reading an article from Landing Cube called Search Find Buy, and it's the latest Amazon hack. It does work. Um, I can endorse it. Um, most of the time when I shoot videos, I pretty much pontificate and describe technical issues and how to solve them. In this particular video, I'm going to be probably just reading this article out loud. It's so well written, really gets to the heart of the point. And I'll post a link to the article in, in the description, but uh, many of you guys prefer listening to, to uh, content than reading it. So that's where the value of this video will come in. So it reads, ranking hacks are nothing new when it comes to selling on Amazon. Sellers are always in search of a boost in organic rankings for coveted high volume keywords. Despite rank manipulations being technically against Amazon's terms, it hasn't stopped people from looking for new and better ways to convince Amazon's ranking algorithm to shine a light on their product. As Amazon slowly shut, shutting down or gives less power to other common ranking tactics, sellers are looking for better ways to rank up in ways that appear organic. The latest tactic, search, find, buy, or SFB. So this is a brief history they go on to talk about what used to work, what doesn't work any longer. So, <clears throat> for the moment, it was clear that you can make more money from position one than position 11. Those who are serious about their business have been figuring out how to twist the algorithm in their favor. These hacks are becoming widely known even outside of Amazon seller circles. The highlight being the Wall Street Journal's expose, expose article, How Sellers Trick Amazon to Boost Sales, which drove into several dirty tricks used by black hat sellers. In truth, the hacks discussed in that article are pretty extreme. Click farms and buying reviews are tactics that are doomed to fail. Amazon's just too smart to let things like that go unnoticed. Smarter sellers are use less extreme tricks. These are tactics that don't risk getting you kicked off the Amazon marketplace because they go under the radar. They exist in the gray area where they might technically fall under rank manipulation, but not in a way that's noticeable or enforced. Some may even can be considered white hat now. Keyword stuffing. So keyword stuffing was once one of the earliest and most primitive ways to boost rankings, as it has been with many kinds of text-based SEO. Today, Amazon's algorithm is too sophisticated for traditional keyword stuffing to have a big impact. As are Amazon's customers, if your listings are in an unreadable mass of keywords, no one's going to buy them. Then we're on to super URLs. Super URLs were next, a smart step forward in Amazon's ranking hacks. This involves sending people to your listing through a URL that was faked to include a search term, as if that person had clicked through the organic search through that term. Thus, when someone bought through a super URL, Amazon's algorithm would give power to the keyword, thinking that they had searched and bought organically. Quick side note, one of my favorite ways to create super URLs um, in the past was helium10.com slash gems. There are a few great linking tools that you can find on this website. Add to cart, buy together, targeted ASIN search. Probably one of my favorite um, quick ways to build external URLs. Although, as this article points out, value to those had been diminished. So today, super URLs are generally considered to be dead while no one knows for sure. It seems that Amazon has wasted its tax sales from these URLs and disregard them for ranking purposes. Two-step URLs. The next progression is two-step URLs. This works similar to a URL, except you send the buyer to a search page with your keyword populated. They need to click on your product in the search result, meaning a click through, uh, which is harder for Amazon to detect than a super URL. So I'm gonna demonstrate that. So if you go to Amazon and I was to type in funny wine glass, this URL up here would say funny wine glass, and that would be the click through um, <clears throat> keyword. And then if somebody were to click on when I said you said we sit, for example, uh, and make that purchase, it would credit that ASIN with that organic keyword. So that would be the uh, click through versus the two step would go directly to the product and have the search term already embedded. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me, uh, that would be the super URL that would go straight to the listing. The two-step does exactly what I just demoed, which would go to Amazon search page, you click on the product, then make the purchase. 
From what we know, uh, two-step URLs work very well for rankings, despite some fear of late in the community. It doesn't seem that Amazon has taken any action against these URLs. In fact, many people consider this a pretty legitimate ranking tactic. However, there are some who believe two-step URLs don't have the same power that they used to and are looking for a more organic solution, which is where search, by and by, comes in. So I'll, I'll throw in my two cents here. I agree with all of this um, in the article, and we we don't have a really good way to measure these kind of techniques. There's not a there's not a tool and not no A-B testing functionality where you can determine one way for another on these kinds of things. Um, but I do find it really fascinating, this search find buy tactic, because it really there's no really way to trace what they're about to talk about. So search find buy works very much like a two-step URL. Like the two-step, SFB is designed to not simulate an organic click-through, but actually provide one. Works by pushing customers to find your product with a specific keyword and physically click through themselves. How it works is really no different from what the name suggests. The customer searches, they find, and hopefully they buy. To use search find buy instead of giving potential customers the link to your product listing, you'll give them instructions on how to find the product organically. If all of this sounds confusing, um, don't be surprised, but, uh, <laughs> um, but, but if you're trying to give away a product um, to get your first 100 sales on the listing, for example, consumers will go through that. Obviously, conversion levels are going to drop off. You may uh, find sending them a link to the search page with your search term already populated or ask them to search for the term themselves. Then you give the customer what they need to find it, like a treasure map. Give them the product, the photo by which they can identify it, and the page you can find it. They give an example where you can claim your discount by following these instructions. Look for that particular item. This method usually is used for new products that are several pages deep in search results, so it's really important that you give the customer enough info, such as its current page ranking which by the way, Helium 10 is probably my favorite way to do that. Um, or you can look it up organically yourself and go hunt for it. When your customer finds your product and buys, they will appear on Amazon as a totally organic sale. Theoretically, the ranking power from someone searching for a keyword and buying your product even several pages deep is the SERP is incredibly powerful and extremely beneficial when it comes to ranking your product. How to build a funnel with SFB. There's a few different ways you can build a search find buy funnel. Most of the time you want to start with Facebook ads. Facebook ads are a best type of external marketing for e-commerce sellers with a huge user base and advanced targeting tools. You can build messenger chatbots to guide customers through the purchasing journey. Initiating these chatbots from Facebook ads reduces friction by keeping the customer on a familiar platform compared to if you sent them a chatbot from your site or a different social platform. Incentivize the sale. You need to run a promotion. Some incentives for the customer to go through all of that effort, searching and finding your product several pages deep. Otherwise, what reason do they have not to choose a different one? Commonly, this promotion is either a discount code or a rebate reimbursing the customer after their purchase. Rebates, especially 100% rebates, tend to be more enticing to the customer and better for ranking since Amazon sees it as a full price sale. However, this is a bit of a gray area in the terms of service, which could end up getting you in trouble. Now, Amazon has no way to track this, in my opinion, so I think it's pretty much safe. Definitely agree it's in the gray zone. Um, if you were to use like a, a rebatekey.com website, though, where people are getting on lists, that's when I think the trackability that Amazon will be able to figure it out eventually. <laughs> the value of the discount code or rebate you offer depends on your budget and the importance of ranking your product. If you're in Trying to rank a product for a super valuable keyword, for example, the cost of giving away a bunch of products with 100% rebates may be totally justified. Keep in mind that there is a consensus that high value discount codes cut off at a certain point where Amazon doesn't give the same power to them for ranking. Um, so the article indicates they think that's somewhere between 80 and 90%. I think it's personally probably somewhere between 40 and 50% um, based on what I found. Start the search. Lastly, you need to provide instructions on how your customers can find the product. A messenger flow works great for this. Alternatively, after they claim their discount, you can send the customer to a basic web page, step-by-step -step instructions with the product instructions. So go from the Facebook ad, promotion, search, find, buy instructions. It gives an example of what that funnel could look like, just like this. Um, ManyChat is the chat program that most people use, by the way. Pros and cons of SFB, many sellers consider search find buy to be the most effective way to boost keyword rankings for external traffic due to the organic nature. While Amazon may in the future or already adjust their platform to give less ranking power to two-step URLs, SFB won't be the same treatment. 
For all intents and purposes, it's actually an organic search. So it gives the same power to the people buying your product on their own. There are downsides, though. You're asking the customer to put in a lot of effort to find the product. So you'll need to reach more people to get the same velocity as a simple sales funnel um, due to lack of conversion rates. If you don't have a good incentive, you can easily spend ad money to drive people to your um, to your listings from your competitors. For this reason, considering using SFB for targeting ranking campaigns where your targeted words are, are worth the cost of your launch. So in summary, it's unlikely that Amazon sellers will stop looking for new ways to rank products anytime soon. Super URLs, two-step URLs, and more have had their time in the sun. Now it's search, find, buy that sellers are using to level up their rankings. So use an SFB funnel to drive traffic to Amazon from Facebook ads. You can see a big impact to your organic sales too. So again, I pretty much endorse everything in this article is why I read it, and I'll post a link to it as well as uh, Helium 10, uh, many chats, um, and then uh, as the founder of my Amazon guy, we do a lot of Amazon consulting. So if you need any assistance, whether it's ad management, keywords, merchandising, catalog rework, whatever it is to improve traffic and conversion, um, we're constantly testing new things to try and improve sales. So you can go over to myamazonguy.com and contact us. If you also want to weigh in on how you think Search, Find, and Buy does, please leave a comment on the video. Curious to see if you've engaged in it. Thanks so much.